Hello everyone, this is Nick Lang with the National Concrete Masonry Association and I am here today with your Tech Tip Tuesday. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend and uh, is back at it today. So what I wanted to tackle today on our Tech Tip Tuesday was concrete masonry inspection. This is a pretty common question that we get in terms of you know, what's required for inspection of concrete masonry during construction. And really it depends a little bit on the type of project and the type of quality control that you're under. It's all governed by TMS 402 and 602, the building code requirements and specification for masonry structures. And it defines three different levels of quality control and inspection levels, one, two, and three. Previous versions, it was A, B, and C. And depending on which one you are under, that defines what inspection tasks and things that you have to do. Uh, level one is the uh, kind of the base level, which is for empirically designed structures. Uh, generally veneers and those types of things. Level two is for engineered structures that are not uh, essential facilities. And then level level three quality assurance is for those that are engineered and are also essential facilities. Uh, you can find more details in our Tech Note 18-3B about concrete masonry inspection, which really deals with all the different levels of inspection and the requirements that are contained within that uh, TMS 402 and 602. So hopefully this helps to explain a little bit about concrete masonry inspection. And if you have a question for a future Tech Tip Tuesday, as always, please leave it in the comments. We'll be happy to tackle it at a future date. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. Hope you have a great week. Goodbye.